hello guys welcome to my channel in this part i am going to show you how can we work with flutter alert dialog and flutter custom alert dialog okay so before move to this coding section let me tell you something so uh, i have couple of courses on udemy here you can see this is uh, my udemy profile my profile name is code with ydc and all of the courses are mine right now i have 11 courses and i taught over 47,000 students from around the globe so if you need my uh uh, free coupon of my Udemy courses you can join to my Facebook group and you can ask me that you need free coupon or if you want you can buy e buy this code buy this course uh, using the discount coupon okay you will find out it in description below okay so now let's move to the coding section as you can see I have uh, created a flutter empty project okay you just need to create a flutter project so just go to new flutter project okay and after creating this project you will be able to see this page this is the main dot dot file and all of the code are auto generate coded so now what i will do i will remove all of this code and i will add it from scratch so first we need to import our material dot so import material dot in here we need to use our void main so void main and we can say here run f run f is in widget f so new material f okay and inside this material f we will have to write our home keyword and we will have to connect our home layer or home file that we want to open that we are gonna show when user will open our application so as of now we don't have any other file I, we don't have any other files so first of all we need to create a file so go to the leaf folder right click new and dart file and we can say home okay you can you can add any name whatever you want in here first of all we also need to import our material chart so i'm sorry material chart and now define the state for widget i don't know why it is giving us an error let's remove it and add it again okay so now add a state for widget and class is going to be the home okay so import home dot dart so remember that you need to import this class name here otherwise you will not be able to access this class name and inside this home keyword we need to use our class name whatever class you will add make sure that you are adding this home name so now our this file is connected with our application with our main dot file that will open when we will run our application okay so now first of all we need to remove our container so remove the container and add the scaffold widget inside the scaffold widget we need to use so let's add some app bar so app bar is going to be the new app bar and title is going to be the new text and we can say flutter we can say flutter dialog okay and uh, we need to add a background over here so that we can see a background color for our app bar so background color is going to be colors dot uh, I can say green color will be the good will be the best okay so now this part is done now let's add body section so body is going to be the new we can add new center because inside the middle of our uh, so let me run it so that we can see what uh, we have done okay so this is a replication we have done our app bar right now we don't have anything so let's say we will add a button uh, in the center of this layout so that's why uh, I have added here body new center and inside the center we will add a raised button when user will click this raised button we will show them a pop-up message that is called a dollar alert dialog so body new center and child is going to be the new raised button okay it has one uh, one compulsory parameter that is called on pressed okay we will work later on it and before that we need to use here uh, a child child is going to be new text and we can say that what we can say uh, we can say that dialog show we can say that dialog show okay so now if I run this we may see this one but it is not looking good so first of all we need to remove this null and add the functionality okay if we add this then it will give us a light color now it is enable now change the define the height of this button okay so first change the background color so color is going to be the colors 
dot difference run it and you will see this one okay so now the one thing that we need to do we need to customize and we need to add a shadow or we need to add height and white so we cannot add it directly over here so for that we need to wrap this raised button with a container so right click so left side we will see the bulb icon and wrap with new widget you can add it directly don't have any problems so container now in here we can define height and white for our um, for our raised button so we can say hi i'm sorry not height we should add white white you can say 200.0 now run it and see i think we can choose 300 okay 300 okay now it's time to add a uh, we can add a decoration here decoration is going to be the new box decoration border radius is going to be the border radius dot circular and we can say 20.0 so that we can get a rounded shape but it is not working because we need to add this color inside this decoration then we will be able to then we will be able to see it okay it is not working so i think uh, we need to add this decoration inside our raised button that will be the good thing no we can't add it here okay just leave it here okay we have done a mistake here so let's add this color here i'm sorry add this color inside this uh, raised button as well so that we can see it here yeah now we can see it but it is doing override so container container is inside the child let me see what is happening here and if i cut this color here then we will see we will we will see only this uh we can see only this color shadow okay so we can do it inside this raise button as well we don't need to add this decoration here we don't need to add this decoration for the container because uh, by default raise button has a property called chef so we can take help from this chef and we can say new uh, rounded rectangle border and we can say border radius is going to be the border radius dot circular and we can say 20.0 and in here we need to define the color okay i think we don't need to define it color here separately we can add this color outside of this border as uh, you are it is inside the uh, raised button so colors dot orange so run it okay now it looks very good so let me explain it again as we were doing a lot of mistake so so that you can understand clearly so inside this body first i have defined a center so that we can see our button inside the center okay inside the middle of this layout and then after that i have added a container and this container is white that is this white of our this is the white of our button okay and after that uh we have i have added a raised button and this is the and this is this button okay and this one we need to use this on press so that user when user will click we can show an action and this child is containing this text and this shape is this rounded shape and this is the color and uh, rest button has another property called elevation and elevation is going to be that we can say 20.0 it will give us uh, it will give us a shadow so you can see this shadow see this shadow and we may add some padding here padding is going to be the as insert all we can say 10.0 and we also need to change the text color so if we want to change the text color then we need to work in our text view so after the text add a call add a comma and need to add our style a style is going to be the text style and font size is going to be the 20.0 it might be it might work now we can see it is working but we need to change our font color so color is going to be the colors dot white okay now it's look good now it's time to add okay and so now it is time to add let me check this padding is working or not yeah padding is working so i think 20 will be fine so 20 20 will be fine this look very bad i think 10 is good okay 10 is good no problem 
okay so we are done with our body section and this one and after that after this uh, widget okay in here we can create another functionality another functional method to show alert dialog okay first i will sh first i will show you how can you add a normal alert dialog then i will show you how can you work with custom alert dialog okay so for that first we need to create a uh, method we can say alert I can say fight alert dialog. No need to pass our build context inside this parameter. Okay. Then after that, in here we need to use everything. So define a variable called var alert, and it contain a alert dialog. And in here, uh, for adding a alert dialog, Flutter by default have a Flutter by default has a built-in function that is called alert dialog, and it will take a couple of parameter let me add the column so first one is it, it contain it contains a title title is going to be a new text and we can say that we are we are learning a lot dialog and it has also a content content is going to be a text so new text and we can say what we can say we can say that Flutter is pretty good. Okay, so this is the main functionality for adding a alert dialog. So just define a variable and then add this alert dialog function. And this alert dialog function uh, contain a couple of parameters. One of them is title and content. And after that, we are not done yet. So after that, there is a property called show dialog. So this is the dialog. This is the functionality. So show dialog it will con it will take a context and this context is going to be the context and this one is this context okay pass this context and it take another parameter that is called builder okay so that is called builder so builder builder is going to be the okay it contain build context and see in here we can pass it or, and we can return our alert dialog return our alert and this alert is this alert like uh, now this variable contain all con contain the whole alert dialog okay see contain the whole alert dialog and now we need to connect this we need to return this alert in inside this builder so show dialog it context it takes a uh, context this is this context and builder and this is the build this builder okay so now if I click it will not work because we have not added our alert dialog functionality inside our button so that's why button can't take it so as you can see a uh, few minutes back we have added this on press and inside this on press we need to call this function name now it should work and as you can see it needs a uh, context and we need to use this context over here now it will work like this context is this context this build context now if i do hot reload if i click here and here we go we can see our alert dialog is showing over here and this is this is showing yes we are learning alert dialog and let's say we have we need to add a button over here so how can we add it so for that we need to use okay so for that we need to use here uh okay so Come here and inside this, inside the alert dialog that 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 contains our title and content, and in here we need to use our uh, widget actions widget. Okay, we need to add here actions widget, and in here uh, we have to we need to use our new uh, button that is called a flat button, and this flat button contains two parameter. One is on pressed and another one is child. So on pressed we need to use here the functionality and to take action. and what it is this child is going to be new text and we can say that yes so if i run it we might see this okay we can see this but if i click this button it is not uh, removing so it should be removed when we, i will click this yes button so for that uh, we need to use here navigator so navigator dot off uh, that uh, pop now run it now click yeah now you can see if I click 
Okay, now let's say if we can change the font size of this ES button. So text style font size is going to be 20.0. Now run it. Now we can see that's much bigger size. So it is working. So we have learned how to Oh, how can we add this alert dialog okay it is really easy let me explain you again one thing so we have defined a function and we pass the build context we need to pass the build context okay because we are working inside a build context so when we will when we will define our function inside this uh, inside this on pressed it will it will take one build context okay so we need to use it here and after that we have uh, added a, a variable called alert dialog and that is containing a alert dialog functional functionality that is by default providing by flutter so inside this flow alert dialog it it takes a couple of parameter one is title and title is our heading content and actions uh, inside the action widget we can add a button and that is called flat button i have added it here okay now just design the thing and after that we need to use a show dialog remember that without the show dialog your application your alert dialog on to work so for that it takes a context so this context is this context remember that we have added it here and a builder and build context C it also then we need to return our alert dialog over here okay so this is as simple as that so instead of instead of alert dialog show we can say that uh, we can say that normal alert dialog normal okay no problem we can say dialog dialog show okay so we have done our uh, normal alert dialog now what if we want to do custom alert dialog then what should we do okay so for that we need to we need to do so this is our uh, this function is for normal alert dialog so we can minimize it and we can comment out here okay so now at another function we can say that custom dialog okay so we need to pass our build context here build context is going to be the context so first we need to return here return here show dialog okay so return show dialog and uh, this dialog contain this context and this one will take a builder builder is going to be this build context and see and we can add a curly brace over here and inside this curly brace we need to return our dialog remember this this dialog keyword will help us to add our custom dialog so it is as simple as that there is nothing uh, difficulty so just need to create a new function called custom color custom dialog you may add your own name no problem for that just pass this build context and context then first need to return the show dialog and as you as you have seen uh, uh, for normal alert dialog we had to add our show dialog and it was taking context and build context we have added the same thing over here this context is contained this context and this builder will context this build context c you just need to define the build, build context and add an m anything and then we need to return this dialog and this dialog will help us to show our uh, to design our custom dialog okay so for example now in here add add a container so new container okay so instead of new container we might need to use here child child is going to be container now it will work okay so now add now define the height height we can say 450.0 and white is going to be uh, we, can, we can add the full white media query dot of context dot size dot white okay all right now add a decoration decoration is going to be the new box decoration and border radius is going to be the border radius dot circular at 20.0 let me add a background color over here so color is going to be the colors dot we can choose the same color now if i run it we can't see anything because we have not added our custom dialog inside our raised button so remove this alert dialog from here and add it here and it will take a context and this context is taking from this build context so now do hot reload it might work now 
and here we go here we can see our custom alert dialog okay we can see this shadow color this background color okay it might have another uh, property called shape so dialog by default have a property called shape so we can add this shape and we can say that new a round rectangle border and border radius is going to be the border radius dot circular 20.0 I think now we will not be able to see this white color okay so as we have added this uh, border radius inside this container that is containing a background color and that's why this um, dialog has dialog is showing some white as well because by default this dialog ha don't have any uh, border radius so if we add it we might see now it will see the same thing see now it is working perfectly okay now in here let's say we can add some image no problem for that we can uh, customize it in our own way okay so uh, now we need to design our ladder for example let's say we will add a image here and we will add two button at the bottom okay so how can we do this thing so for that first we need to use here a column child is going to be the new column okay column will have children of widget and first item is going to be our um, first item is going to be our new image dot network we need to use a link and add the height here we can say height is going to be the 250.0 and why it is going to be the media query dot of context dot size dot white and need to add fit is going to be the box fit dot cover got it okay now we need to copy a image url and we need to paste it over here okay you know as you maybe you may know that flutter has a very good uh very good or i can say very good uh easy option we can say that to get uh, internet data previously uh, when we were developing android application using java we never had that opportunity like let's say just using this one tech image to network we can we can get data from the server so how cool it is so now go to this pixel or any any image whatever you want to add you can take it from here and you can add uh, we can see that uh, let's say add this one so copy the image address and just paste it here and it will work I think so now run it now if I add here and here we go can we see the image okay so our image is now in our alert dialog now let's add two button over here so for that first need to use here add a size box so new size box and height is going to be you can say 15.0 just a space and now add a new we can add a new row show is going to be the children of widget and in here we will define this thing so new expanded so uh, expanded is the functionality to define a row into two part and it will take space automatically so it contain a flex flex is one and this one will define automatically the white of this part of this item so child is going to be the new text uh, we can say that remove just adding some render some just adding some uh, random text nothing is now if I run it okay let me uh, run it again I can see this remove text is here okay so for that first we need to instead of direct child let's remove it and add a container first so that we can design it so new container and then add a decoration decoration is going to be the new box decoration border radius is going to be the border radius dot circular we can add 10.0 and add the color color is going to be the colors dot we can say green color we don't have any problem for that okay it will work if i run it okay it will work and we can't see anything just because of we don't have any data any text here so now if I add the child child is going to the new text and we can see that remove 
let me run it here so that we can see it okay so now it is working so as we don't have any other like button here that's why we can see this whole space so new size box and at white is going to be 15.0 so that it can create an space between two expanded now i'm gonna copy this new expanded and new expanded and paste it here and we can say that at now it might work okay i don't know for Eladello why this hot reload is not working here we go now we can see this one is here two button we can see but we need to add we need to work here so first we need to add a margin and need to add a padding here so we can add a margin here margin is going to be as inset all 10.0 and need to add a padding padding is going to be as inset all 20.0 so i can copy this margin and padding from here and paste it inside this container as well so run it okay now it might work okay now it's look pretty good now it's look pretty good but for the text we can add it in center so simply we can do we can wrap it with the alignment so click on the text and left side you will see this valve icon go to this and wrap with new widget and this widget call and this widget call align okay this widget call align okay and the child is going to be the what i can say okay so this is called child and it contain an alignment it contain and uh, it contains an alignment alignment is going to be the new alignment not new alignment we should add here direct alignment so alignment dot center okay and the same thing we need to add for this remove so just add here add new widget and wrap it with alignment and we need to use this alignment is going to be the alignment dot center now run it okay we need to do hot reload for that so now we can see our text is in center so it will be good if we can change our text color so inside this text add a comma and add this style this style is going to be the text style and it's going to be the font size font size is going to be 20.0 and change the font color color is going to be the colors dot white and same thing for this one so add a style so style is going to be text style and font size is going to be the 20.0 and color is going to be the colors dot white okay so i think we are done almost almost we are done here we go now we can see our image and our text so it is working perfectly now still there is a problem if i click this button if i click this text it is not working but when user will click this uh this icon like this button or this text it should be it should be colors it should be colors right yeah it should be colors but so how can we add it so for that if you want to add uh, if you want to do clickable a text in flutter we need to use inkwell so again click on the top of this text keyword and wrap it with a new widget and this widget name is inkwell so inkwell will give us the opportunities to add click event and now it contain a on tap property and inside this on tap property we will have to write this navigator dot of context so navigator dot of context dot pop okay so this is how the things work so we can copy this on tap property from here as well and we can paste it over here okay we can paste it so we need to uh, wrap this with new widget that is inkwell inkwell and add this on tap property here and add here navigator dot op is the build context dot pop okay if we click outside of this it is removing if we click add it is if we click add then it is removing if we click this add and it is removing 
so our alert dialog functionality is working perfectly i think that is enough for this part i will come up with new v lectures in next part and till that keep watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel and as i mentioned earlier of this video if you need free coupon of my udemy courses you can join to my facebook group you can ask me in my group there are a lot of uh, students are already there and they are learning a lot of new things from my facebook group i provide uh, support and everything okay and a lot of resources uh, regarding this flutter development so that's it for this part thank you